is Extreme Enduro, where bikers take on the natural terrain and each other. It's a one-off race where world champions are going head to head. The lads will have to be going really fast, they're going to have to concentrate as well. And I think that uh, the people are going to see some, you know, a fantastic spectacle. Riders are coming from all over the world to compete. I get to race um, some of the top level pro riders in the world like uh, David Knight and Dougie Lampkin and all them sort of blokes. As you can see, this is not for the faint-hearted. It's fast, it's energetic, it's for real adrenaline junkies. Now events like this take place in remote parts of the world, but this is happening this weekend in West Yorkshire. The event kicks off at 9.30 on Sunday morning, so gear up for a glimpse of life in the fast lane. Becky Kelly, BBC Look North. quite exciting although you also need to be very focused you can always see usually if your family are there you can see them sort of looking at you while you're doing it nerves definitely come into it I think the more you do it the more you get used to it but they never completely go away it's an amazing space to sing in and I'm very lucky <laughs> If you miss the start, you've, you've got to pass from, from behind people and it gets very tough and uh, it's just a mad sprint for one minute. Ricky Ashworth is just starting his seventh season for the Sheffield Tigers. It's not a glamorous sport. You won't find a team of engineers helping him out. He admits it's a bit mad, but he loves it. You say to somebody, how long's a race? You'll tell them 60 seconds approximately. They think that's a short time, but if you could imagine a drag race for, for 60 seconds long, it's, you're in for one hour of a bit of entertainment. It takes a lot of bravery to race a bike you know, at such high speeds on such a, you know, an advanced circuit with uh, a fence, you know, which is probably only comes within inches of, of rubbing you at like 70 miles an hour plus. I mean, declared myself a petrol head a few weeks ago. You might think I'm trying to have a go at this. Well, you'd be wrong. I'm happy to put the outfit on, but I'm not getting on that for anyone. Thankfully, though, my cameraman, Nick, can't wait to have a go. So over to you, fella. Nick, how was it? Exciting. Fast. A bit much, really. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to ask Ricky, Ricky, how did he do? He done very well for his first time. Um, someone was whispering in my ear that there's a contract uh, ready to be signed. Oh, I'm sure that. <laughs> for now, though, I think we should leave it to the professionals. Let's get this. That's it. Get sorted. And my name's Tim Curtis. I'm the uh, head coach, uh, Yorkshire and Humber Special Olympic Cycling Team. Well, I'm the father of one of our team members, Ella Curtis. Uh, she's my daughter, I'm very proud dad. What number gear are you going to ride round in? Six. Are you? No, seven. You're going to ride round in seven today? Yeah. Full yeah. gas? Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Give him five. Good. I can remember when Ella was so big, when she fitted into my arm, when she was born. And I can remember within about ten minutes of her being born, the uh, nurses identified that she was born with Down syndrome. And, um, just give me a minute. Um, it wasn't expected, so um, it was quite a, quite a shock for us all. Um, and I never thought that she'd ever do anything like this. Wow, well done. Huh? Excellent. Potentially, depending on how things go, uh, she might be looking at the World Special Olympics in 2019. Nostalgia for petrol heads. Now, normally at this stage, we'd get one of Look North's best looking reporters to come here and drive this thing away. Then again, Nick, our crazy cameraman, this is the best day of his life. Paul Ogden and Nick Gemzo, BBC Look North, 
Otzel. 